Hello and welcome to Seashore Vlog and today we're going to talk about our favourite signature restaurants at Walt Disney World in Florida. So should we start at Disney Springs? Do you? Let's start with Paddlefish, um, which is probably, out of all the signatures that we've done, it's my least favourite. Don't know about you. Cinderella Royal Table is your least favourite, okay. Yeah. In we'll, terms of food, yeah. Okay, we'll come to that one in a second. But paddle, <coughs> Paddlefish, so Paddlefish is at Disney Springs um, and it's primarily a seafood restaurant. Um, we went there with Kara and Jeremy of the Magic Geekdom and I'll pop a link to their channel down below. Um, the food was, was good, um, but for the price that you're paying there, it could definitely be better. We've had better at some of the other signatures, uh, similar meals. Um, that were that were cheaper actually, um, but Paddlefish. So Paddlefish is not a cheap place to go. Um, we use the Tables and Wonderland discounts. If you get any types of discount, or you can use dining credits, would recommend that you do that. Um, but the food, and overall, the food was good. The drinks were good. The company was excellent. Um, the the setting is pretty different. Um, you're on a, you're on a fake boat. On a fake fake paddle boat, um, but it's very it's very modern, and there's lots of little rooms in the boat, um, and you go to one rather than one just big open restaurant. You've got like little corridors with room, with tables, and then you've got different rooms. And we were in one of the rooms um, in the aft section of the boat, I think it is, um, and that's where we had our meal. Um, the atmosphere in that room was pretty. There wasn't really an atmosphere. Um, the sunset was lovely though. The sunset was lovely out, out, out of nice. the window. Yeah. But there, there wasn't really an atmosphere, it was all very posh. Um, the upstairs, when we went and had a look after the meal, was lovely as well, so you could see the whole of Disney Springs on the evening. Yeah, which is something that we'd recommend that you do. So if you, if you don't want to go there for a meal, go there for a drink and some nibbles up on the, the roof deck um, because there's a nice bar up there, you get fantastic views all around Disney Springs and, and the rest of Walt Disney World um, and you can get some more affordable bar snacks um, and drinks up there, drinks at the same price but more affordable bar snacks up there um, which we'd recommend. So we started with crab fries didn't we? Yes. Sauce, but it was a spicy sauce on them. And they were they were bug standard fries, fresh crab, and the crab was was very fresh. Um, so and, and a really good sized portion as well for that for that starter. So that's definitely a starter I would there recommend. Was another starter, a few other starters as well. I can't remember now. The other starter that we had was a crab cake, but I would say that the crab fries were definitely the better choice out of the two. I mean, the size of the crab cake and the portion was... It was like with, your, with the corn salsa, wasn't it? Yeah. The size was really, really good, um, but the crab fries, that's the that's where it is. Just quickly talk about a couple of the cocktails in Paddlefish. Um, Kara, was it Kara who had the Bloody Mary? No, you didn't have it. I didn't have Bloody Mary. No, you had a mojito. Yeah, Kara had a blood. I think it was Kara who had the Bloody Mary. It comes with like a crab claw, and yeah, if you like Bloody Marys, that's a that, that's a good one in there. I had some sort of bourbon cocktail, um, and you had a mojito. Jeremy had a, had the same as me, I think it was. Um, so the drink the drinks quality in there, but for the mains, um, I had fillet Oscar style, which is basically a fillet steak with crab in a crabby sauce um, <laughs> over, <laughs> over the over the top. Do you mean like a seafood um, style sauce? <laughs> on on like a bed of mashed potato. Um, I normally love all the mashed potatoes that you can get in America. This one wasn't very good. Um, but the steak and the Oscar style the crab um, were fantastic in like the was it like a hollandaise? It's not a hollandaise sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is but the, the sauce was really really nice. Um, the mashed potatoes what let this dish down um, we have had, I've had a better version of this dish in another restaurant that we're going to talk about in a second. But yeah, Philly uh, with Oscar style was, was my choice. And you had the salmon. And salmon and couscous. Yeah. But I had to get this couscous specially made, didn't I? I had to ask them to change it slightly. Yes, because um, 
there was something in there that, that, that you didn't like and all the restaurants at Disney are really good at changing um, things that are in there but you had a nice piece of salmon I did, yeah um, and you ate most of it so. yeah Kara. now this was the funniest thing I wish we'd been recording all of Kara because in the entire time it took Caroline, myself and Jeremy to eat our meals Kara hadn't eaten hers yet because she couldn't get into a lobster um, she could not crack it open and then I've never heard such foul she language cracked. come out of someone's mouth she cracked us up literally <laughs> yeah she cracked us up she couldn't crack the lobster but that was yeah she had, she had like a went for a full lobster I think she enjoyed the potatoes yeah she, yeah <laughs> Enjoyed the potatoes. Um, Jeremy had crab claws um, and they were pretty impressive as well. So There's lots of choices. If you love your seafood and crab and lobster and steak, this is, this is one of the places to go. Um, and then the desserts. I don't think I had one, did I? Because I never, I never have dessert. No. Um, Very rare. I really have a sweet Yeah, I, I had the key lime pie and it is the tardest key lime pie that I've ever had. It was just... Like, Sean's face was a picture. I yeah, think. really, really. It was such a big tart. There was a picture of you eating it and your face. Yeah, it was. But I mean, it. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't actually eat it. It was that tart. Um, and when the key lime pie is right, that's when I like it. There's lots of key lime pies that I don't like and can't eat because they're too tart or not fla or don't have the right flavour or texture. Um, and this was one of those. It just. Yeah, I, I would not get that again. Um, Kara had like a, a milkshake with br with brownie and cakey stuff in it, and like a small version of a freak shake, really. Yeah, and then popcorn and stuff like that, and that's definitely what I should have got um, because that was that that was just amazing what what, what Kara had, and Jeremy had some sort of. Um, like an apple brown berry or something. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what he had, but it was some sort of like pie with cooked with ice cream and stuff. Uh, and he really enjoyed that as well. Um, so yeah, paddlefish. If you can use a table service credit or you get some sort of discount and you love seafood, go. But the only downside to paddlefish, and I've never been into a seafood restaurant that smells so so pipe like cotton to fish. It really is overpowering, and it was making me feel sick. Yeah. It's far too much of a fishy smell in there. They need to do something with the air. Add some, add some scents in. Let's paddlefish. Let's move further on in Disney Springs and go to the Boathouse, which is the other restaurant I was referencing just now. So the Boathouse, um, we went a couple of years ago actually, um, and we, 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 we need to go back. I don't know why we've never been back, because we loved the meal that was in there. The portions are mahusu. Way too big and Caroline did the wrong thing again and got a starter and a main. Yeah, you got the pimento dip. Which was lovely but just too much for one person. We ended up taking that back, didn't we? And then it got wasted. Got wasted, which I hate wasted, like I've said before. The pimento dip. Um, and then for your main you had fish and chips. The kids fish and chips. Kids fish and chips. And you still could because still order kids meals for adults. It was still too much for me. Yeah. Um, this is also, a, all of these restaurants are two table service credits. Um, that the, just quickly to talk about the setting, like the, the way that the boathouse looks and smells and there's a boat in there that you can sit in. They've got a deck area outside, a dock area outside the back that they've got a bar and you can eat out there and it just, it, it looks fantastic. The service was the deck brilliant. Decor was was good as well. The service was actually good on that day um, as well because we with me being um, not a big eater and we're having the dining plan. They have actually advised us not to use the dining plan for me, didn't they? Yeah. On that day because of the stuff that I was picking and the size of the portions. Their advice were not. They said it wouldn't be worthwhile for me to use it, so not to. So, so we used it for me for me and your dad and, and, and paid for just you. Just paid for me. Yeah. My starter was the firecracker shrimp, which were really, really spicy and just full of flavour and definitely a starter to rec like, that's got to be one of the best starters on property. The firecracker <coughs> shrimp were just fantastic. Um, and your dad had... It was a lot of your shrimp. Lobster bisque. Dad had lobster bisque and that was a big bowl full as well. Yeah, and he loved that. But one thing we forgot to mention, the bread. The bread in there is unbelievable. It's like shiny and syrupy and just soft and fluffy and it just delicious. Like cracked salt on, like sea salt on, didn't it or something? No, no, not that one. I thought it did. Um, 
the bread, yeah, just awesome. Those starters were fantastic. My main, I had um, the Philly Oscar style, so similar to Paddlefish, and this, it was fantastic in here. Too much to eat, um, but the steak was just perfectly cooked. The crab was really fresh and delicious. Um, it was amazing, really. And your dad had the same thing, but both of us loved the little mini roast potatoes that were like new potatoes roasted with herbs and sea salt. They were just delicious. Um, and then for dessert, key lime pie. It came in, a, came in a mason jar and it was absolutely beautiful. The best key lime pie that I've ever had. With the yard bird in Miami, a very close second, but that's another topic. Um, just so creamy, the perfect amount of tartness, the cream was fantastic, just delicious. Your dad had like a bourbon maple crumble thing. It was the first, apple crumble, it was the first day that it was actually on the menu, so he was actually the first person to try it, and he thoroughly enjoyed it. Very first person. Was it a Jack Daniels bourbon version? Something like that, yeah. Um, but overall, that meal was just delicious, and the boathouses, absolutely one of our favourite restaurants to go to. We really, I mean, we really enjoyed the whole experience and we come away way too stuffed. Yeah. Moving on to Magic Kingdom, there's been one table, signature table service that's been done in Magic Kingdom only by yourself. Myself and my mum and, and dad. Um, that was done many, many years ago when I was very young um, and it was Cinderella's Royal Table at Christmas Day. It wasn't Christmas themed. Um, it was just lords and ladies and princesses and princes. Uh, there was nothing on the menu for me vegetarian at the time, so they actually made me um, a pasta up just off, off the spur of the moment. They just made it up. It happens that they made it with stuff that I didn't like, but I ate what I could out of it. Um, the best thing about it was the atmosphere, the way it looked, um, the little touches such as the Mickey shaped butter. But other than that, it's, it wasn't worth it. Mm. At all. It's not somewhere I have any desire to go to. And I'm brutally honest, I do not remember. I would have to go back and look at all photographs to remember what my parents ate. Yes. That's how memorable it was. I just remember that I didn't like the pasta because they put raisins and salt on, isn't it? No one needs that. That's the only signature restaurant we've done inside a park. Um, there were a couple that we wanted to do, like Tiffin's. Um, but that's the only one that's been done inside a park. All the rest have been Disney Springs or resorts. So let's move on to the resorts. Um, one of the more recent ones that we've done is Storybook Dining um, at Artist Point. So Artist Point used to be a, just a regular signature, then it became a character signature restaurant. Um, and we had a thoroughly good time in there, despite a couple of issues with the service. The service was a little bit lacking in terms of timing, um, a character being missed. Um, but the whole overall experience with our friend Diane, of course, I'll pop a link to her channel down below as well, um, was just amazing, really. The food was delicious, uh, the way that it's presented was fantastic. The food was good, the atmosphere was good. We laughed so much with Diane. Singing we and dancing. Singing. We had a grump grumpy off. Yeah, we had a grumpy off. Um, we had a dopey off, and obviously I won that one. Um, Snow White was just very sweet and kind um, and the evil witch was the character that you're supposed to get given a time from your server to go and see the evil witch and uh, and we didn't get that so we ended up having to complain they credited that uh, the, the food came cold all the food always came when the characters were at the table so by the time we got to eat the food food it had gone a bit colder so we mentioned this um, to the server um, and they ended up crediting us two table services back and then sorting out a, a meet with, uh, with the evil queen. Uh, Diane, who had been before us, said herself that the timing of the food and the um, the characters was completely off. It wasn't the same experience she'd had before. Um, the food was still good, but it was cold, colder than it should have been and yeah. everything was just completely off timing wise. Yeah. Um, but we still had a really good time, so that tells you how good this restaurant is, that even with those issues, we still really enjoyed it and would happily go back. The starters are like sharing starters um, on, a, on a spinny leaf thing. Um, the desserts are sharing as well, done the same way. Um, and then the mains, you get to choose um, You get to choose a main course. Diane had prime rib. Yeah. 
with a Yorkshire pudding or popover or what, whatever you want to call it. What did you have for your meal? I think it was some form of vegetable broccoli with asparagus. Yeah. You didn't eat much of it though. Nope. But you, was that because that was because you were pretty full? Uh, like, Caroline doesn't eat a lot. Um, it tasted nice to me. It was, it was nice, um, just too much um, because I'd already been sampling bits of the starters. Um, even though the starters aren't huge amounts of starters, it was I'd already had a, a mushroom bisque, um, and I can't remember what the other vegetarian ones were. Um, but yeah, it was. It's it's a lovely experience. Just. A, portion size again and then you'll hear this from me repetitively and yes I do have stomach gastric issues but I am a small as well and I'm not the biggest eater um, mm -hmm. but the portions in America are so much two to three times the size of what we have in the UK yeah. and I can't even eat them in the UK never mind take them over there yeah I mean me, me and I and we polished off our food I had like a lamb shank on a bit of mashed potato um, which was very, very tasty. Um, I should have got what Diane had, though, the prime rib or, or one of the other dishes. I'm not usually a big lamb fan. Um, and it, it was just, it was really delicious. Um, the desserts, you get, like I said, you get sharing desserts. One of them's like a dirt mousse thing. Um, you get a poison apple. Um, and then the, they come with like a presentation case of popcorn in and chocolate white chocolate covered hearts and ro and flowers apples apples it was Why sorry do i remember something with a gooseberry for me and a gooseberry was one of the main desserts yeah but the popcorn when it comes in it's all like dry ice steam and everything coming out and yeah so overall storybook dining at artist point somewhere we definitely recommend um it's not cheap though none of these places are cheap i just want to say that um but they are that's definitely one of the, the best signatures out there, the, I think. The, 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 the whole thing, the whole theme and the telling of a story, even through the menu, the menu was amazing, the yeah. way the story was told and that. that the, on, the only downside was the timing being off. If they had the timing being right and the service being right with the timing, then it would have been probably one of our favourites, I would have thought. Yeah. Next up, California Grill. We've done dinner a couple of times and we've done the brunch. So let's start with the brunch. Brunch is, I'm not sure what the price is now, but it was $90 per person. Two table service credits when, when we had it. It's only on a Sunday um, and you can you book a table and you get between 10 and 2. Um, you can book a time within there, but obviously book earlier and you get longer. You get as much Prosecco, um, mimosas, um, the flavoured Proseccos and the little bubba balls or whatever they're called, the ones that squirt in your mouth. You get as many of them as you want all the way through um, and they have an upcharged Bloody Mary bar that you pay a little bit extra for. Um, they have a buffet which has things like sushi, cold meats, cheeses, um, breads, all sorts on there. Um, the buffet was fantastic. Um, and then you also get to choose a main course as well and here's a tip for you you can get more than one main course just ask them you can ask for half portions but they'll normally bring you a full one you can get more than one although the size of them you'll struggle to eat more than one the reason you want more than one is because there's so many good choices right i mean that the, the fried chicken on like french toast that holly had i think it was on french toast something like I that want to see on a, 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 want to see on a waffle it might yeah. be French toast, I but might that, be remembering it wrong. That looked and smelled amazing. You had a special I had vegetarian. vegetarian shashuka. Yeah, Shak shashuka? Shashuka. Yeah. Shashuka. Um, which comes with beyond meatballs and things in there. Can um, I say that when you've had it during? I know. Um, you really enjoy that really nice, nice spicy curry. Um, I had um, shrimp and grits. I do not like grits at all. I only wanted the shrimp and they were absolutely delicious. Um, we were there with a big group um, as part of our wedding and just had such a good time. The views from up there during the daytime, um, you can see everything. You can see the you can see all around Magic Kingdom and Bay Lake. It's just really, really fantastic setting. The whole place is themed really well. They've got a live band during brunch um, that plays all of the Disney music, um, which was really, really cool. And there was unlimited coffee as well, which is what I was drinking. And I had, I think I had one of the, um, 
the Prosecco's with the, I want to say the raspberry or strawberry bubble balls and you had the yeah. apple ones in you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the food's good. Again, a lot of it, you can have as much as you want because it's unlimited, isn't it? So, um, the service is fantastic. The um, ambiance is nice and the views are lovely. Um, and it was just a really nice experience. And there's a load of dessert as well, like chocolate with nuts and sea salt and macarons of all different flavours. Just, yeah, you get a load of that to share and it was just amazing. And that, if, you, if you are vegan, they will make you vegan alternatives. Yeah, they'll, they'll do it especially. They'll do it for you. Um, that's California Grilled Brunch dinner. Um, we, like I say, we've been a couple of times. My favourite starter for dinner is the spicy beef wontons. Um, they were just so, so good. Um, the steaks in there were fantastic. You've really always enjoyed your steaks there. Yeah, I didn't like the risotto it was sat on one time. The risotto flavour was just so intense it really took away from the steak and the steak was beautiful. Yeah, you've always had it medium rare. Yeah. Um, I can't remember, did you have some sausage thing last time with you? I've had lots of different things in there, like the flatbreads. Um, when we went with King Dave, he had like a chapino broth type thing. Yeah, and a few times I've had the vegetarian kind of platter thing where you choose certain things, but it's just it's so, so big. Much it's nice, but it's so big. And then again, if you like your leaving so much, but it, it, it is good. It would be ideal if I had somebody who was vegetarian to share it with. Yeah, no, I'm not yet. I can't eat Caroline's food at the end because I'm so full from mine because I have all the desserts as well um, and the desserts in there are just beautiful, cocktails are fantastic, um, just everything about it really. Yeah, it's, a, it's the service in the evening's good, again looking at the fireworks from there as well is lovely. Um, we've had one of the best views we've ever had of Magic Kingdom at a table in there for dinner. Um, just looking straight out over, over Cinderella Castle and then you can go out onto the gangways or I'm not sure what they're called, the walkways outside, watch the fireworks. Don't worry, if you go there earlier on in the day or earlier on in the evening, you can go back and watch the fireworks later on. If it's raining, um, they'll let you come back on another day, you just need your receipt. Um, but the views up there are just amazing. We've had um, the Epcot view, which was Hollywood Studios, wasn't it? You can see them all. Lovely. And we've had the Magic Kingdom view. We've been lucky that we've had great views every time, great servers, mm -hmm. and they've been so accommodating as well, and very, very helpful. Yeah. That's California Grill. Um, cost is the, the the cost on the on the evening um, is is up there with all of the other ones. It's yeah. Go go and check out the menu. The, the cost prices change all of the time, so we're not going to really quote we're not really quoting prices because they change and you know they, they are signature, so they're, they're not the cheapest in the world. That's California Grill. Um, we've got two more restaurants. So the first one is Blue Zoo. Which is probably an unusual choice for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people may, may not even have heard of it. It's in the Dolphin Resort at the Swan and Dolphin, which is just off the boardwalk. Um, and we went there for Thanksgiving dinner. And it's very dark, it's very loud, but the atmosphere is fantastic. The setting, the theming, and everything in there is just beautiful. Really it's nice. a Todd English restaurant. Um, and the food in there was some of the best food that I've ever had in my life, ever. You did rant and rave quite a lot about your food and Tom's food as well. Yeah, well Tom had Tom had the best orange chicken. I've never had an orange chicken and I tasted that. The chicken was so, so good. So, so good. So for starters, uh, in Blue Zoo, I had the scallops and they were just they just melted in my mouth. So, so fresh. Just mm, amazing. You had oysters? I have oysters. I'm actually pescatarian, but not many people know what pescatarian is, so I generally just say I'm vegetarian. But yeah, I had oysters. They were absolutely lovely. I, have, I really, really love oysters. Yeah. And they had the usual trimmings. It's the pieces to go with the oysters. The onion, which I forget what that onion thing is called, the vinaigrette. Yeah. I wouldn't have had what Jane had. That was just a, a little salad, but... Um, the scallops were were fantastic. Um, so the starters were really, really good. Um, and then for mains, um, I had steak with like garlicky potatoes on the side, which were just divine. Those garlicky potatoes were just, I want them now. <laughs> they, were, they were beautiful and that steak, 
one of the best eggs ever. Um, not the best steak ever, but one of the best, absolutely. And you had like the salmon and a little bit of like salad y veg on the side. Yeah, salmon and some kind of veg. It was, that, it was nice. There's a pattern here, isn't there? No. I normally get steak, I would like normally get salmon. Yeah. Salmon or tuna generally, or yeah. veg or anything vegetarian within reason. Yeah, Jane had like a bit of fish, um, which she tells me was was very very good. Um, but Tom's chicken, that was the best dish on the table. He let me have a he let me have a taste of his chicken, and my goodness, it was so so good. But the what would you say the star of that meal was? The dessert party that I had, like they gave us a menu with all the desserts, and I was looking at it and going, mm, there's nothing that I really fancy here. And then I saw all these kids in the restaurant getting this dessert, and I was like, I want that. That's what I'm having. So I got the dessert party. Jelly, chocolate, ice cream, what's not to love? It was a little beach scenery, it wasn't like a yeah, sea it, scene. It, it was a dessert island, uh -huh. and it was just beautiful. So that's Blue Zoo at the Dolphin. Um, we'd highly recommend you go and check that out. That leaves us with probably our favourite signature restaurant, although they're all very close, which is the Flying Fish. And weirdly, it, this is at the boardwalk, and weirdly, every time we go to the Flying Fish, we always sit in the same table. And it's always and raining. And it's always chucking it down with rain. Go figure. Um, we've been there. We've been there a few times. Like the the decoration in the restaurant, the theming, the fish chandelier, the fish cutlery, just really, really good. I've been there before. You yeah. before it's been done out. So I've seen both the ways it's been done, and I prefer it the way it is now. Absolutely, and you'll never guess what we what I had for mains steaks. I um, have salmon. Salmon. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, Dave had the wagyu steak one time in there, and that was delicious. I wish I'd gotten that instead of my steak. Uh, but the again, I don't. What I've done every time I've been, I've taken one bit of one meal and one bit of the salmon meal, and then asked them to make it a smaller portion and to meld the two different meals together, and they've done it no questions asked and made the smaller portion. And we've had the, one of the best servers in there as well. She was absolutely amazing, wasn't she? Yeah. Um, another thing that's great about Flying Fish is is the bread. The bread in there is beautiful. We've had like seaweed bread and um, black sea sea salt and on the butter and just yeah, it like the bread in there is fantastic. The drinks like the wine flights that you can get are good value for money. Um, Everything in there is just, there isn't a bad thing to say about Flying Fish. Not at all. Fantastic service every time. Awesome food, great theming and decoration, just absolutely Very brilliant. Very accommodating. Yeah. Um, even like starters like the little um, cod croquettes and potato croquettes and the dessert, like the little cheesecakes and panna cottas and just things like that, it's just, yeah, amazing. Yeah. We we absolutely love. The I've never had fish. I've never had one bad meal there at all. Yeah. Not and not had bad service, no bad drinks, no nothing. The only downside is that we're always looking out with the window at the rain. Yeah. So that's our favourite signature restaurants at Walt Disney World. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And on that note, keep making memories. Catch you later.